Hey guys, Gomi40 off of my channel. Um, sorry about not posting so so much lately. It was like a, I just can't figure out any tech profiles to show you guys and such. But now, since I got like a little bit more, a little bit more like that money to to shell out on the game, I actually um, got a little bit more decks to show off, and also. Um, I might be starting this. I don't know, but I might be starting a a like a little a talk show, a talk radio show about um, you know Carfy Vanguard with the English format. It might take a little bit because well I have to think about some stuff to talk about, but other than that, um, I might as well show off one of my deck profiles. This one was fully anticipated. I really wanted to build this deck ever since I tested out on um, Carfy area. And that is Link Jokers. Yeah, I know everybody says that like they're really overpowered, but at at this point they're pretty tamed as it is. I mean, other than with the break right shenanigans that you can pull with this, it's not too bad. This is like when he hits to like BT13. This is things where where things start to get really bad. So yeah. Anyway. Um, now, this was meant to be like a Chaos Breaker build, but then I tried other decks out, and yeah, as you can see, I have a Nebula Lord deck to show off. So, I'm going to go off with the Great Threes. Um, I got two Nebula Lords. Um, I did order two more online. Alright, so they will be coming soon, so I do have a full set. So instead I have uh, two Knife Entropies, you know, those are fillers. And four Break Rides. This is pretty, this is pretty much the grade 3 right up, right here. So, nothing to talk about right there. Well, I guess I could talk about the infinite zero. Uh, what it does is, um, if you break right into a link choker, you can lock the back row and the front rows. And the front row. So, yeah, you get two locks on, on the spot. Alright, so for grade 2s, uh, half, pretty much almost everything is pretty, um, Standard, except a couple of things. Uh, for radarms and for neopiums. Now, the last two, there's like a mo there's like multiple opinions about it, but seeming that um, this deck needs a little bit more um, rocking mechanic, I decided to put sing Singularity Sniper. Pretty much what she does is I, if I have um. If she hits, and if I have a lock card on there, I can go ahead and hit and lock another one. Now, this might be thinking like she's not that good, but to be honest, this is really where the pressure comes in. She's a really good pressure card, and also a good dare sponge because um, they really don't want to see more lock cards than they should because there really isn't any lockers at the time. So, that's my great twos. Um, I was thinking about putting pul Pulsar Bear in there, but, I don't know, I might test it out. So, for the Grey Ones, half of it's pretty simple. Um, for AK Vanillas, for, for, um, Neons, for the 10Ks, two Lanthiums for, for, like, the locking mechanics. Now, and they, uh, actually, I'll just show off, uh, I'll put, um, three perfect cards. Um, when I get to fourth one, one of the neons are going to go. Now, the one that I'm thinking about, well, okay. Some people say I should run like the Nebula Lords um, special guy, just so I can get some more um, power behind it. But I decided to go for Aurora Eagle because, um, to be perfectly honest, the rear guards are already good as it is. And since I have um, the, the trigger ramps really help out with the with the rear guard um, pressure, I feel like I want to give Vanguard pressure as well, so that way you, you would have a complete balanced um, offense. So, and I pretty much show off the reason reason why I say this is an explosive deck um, with a little odd scenario, but. But first, I want to show off the, the triggers and then the starter. Uh, the triggers, it's not that bad. 
six crits, six stands, and four heals. Now you might be thinking, like, why don't I uh, have, like, a eight crit for stands? Because stands with Nebula is great. Um, let me explain about that. Let me explain about that in some scenarios. Um, Nebula War, what he does is, um, if you have a limit break, it would, if you have a limit break, it would give uh, plus 3k to the whole front row for each lock card. Now, the, obviously the best potential is kind of break riding into him, you got two free lock cards. That means 6k right off the bat. Um, also, if you want to kind of have a little bit more momentum, kind of have like a 9k thing, I suggest having the starter of Dusttail Unicorn. Um, in BT-13, there's going to be a great three searcher for the Link Jokers, but I feel like Dust Unicorn just do, does as much of a good job as, um, the great three searcher. The reason why, because he gives, uh, gives more locking potential. So, so that way the deck can be a little bit more, more handful. Um, so, as I was saying, Use Dust Tail, you got 9k. That means this one will be hitting for 17k on its own. And let's just say I had an EOBR out there for at the time. That means on um, that means 6k due to the locks. Plus 9, 15. 15 plus 9, 24. On its own. And that requires no boosts. So I can have it just like this. Just like this, and I wouldn't have too much of a problem. But I'd rather have a full field, so that way I can get the full bonuses. So let's just say I have that one. And, you know, let's have the let's have the the, the claw army, the claw column right there. I mean, the you'd be hitting a lot of damage. You would be hitting a lot of power. So. People say that um, Nebula isn't really that good, and I do have to admit it is, isn't, isn't the best, but at least he puts power into it. And with the new unlockers, at least he'll get half of the benefits. Like, he doesn't care that their the lock cards go away through the unlockers, because he always gains the power bonus. So, that's pretty much two reasons why I love Nebula Lord just as much as um, Chaos Breaker Dragon. Because he doesn't really care if you, if the opponent unlocks a card. I would still get the power bonuses, and at this kind of meta, putting a lot of pressure on your opponent would is pretty good. Um, and you know, copying with with stands like 17k, I I try to hit, and then if I get a stamp, boom, 22k coming at you. But, I can see where Pulsar Bear can come in, because he can hit cross rides really well. But, I've not seen too much cross ride decks at the moment. So, Singularity Sniper is pretty much a good good card for the Nebula deck. That doesn't have much of a locking mechanic, so I don't have two of her. So, it doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah. Um... If you guys like this deck, please rate a comment about it, and I might be showing off a couple of matches or two with this deck. So I will see you then, and bye!